Hello, this is a quick redo of a tutorial I've done on how to get your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller to work with Dark Souls 2. First of all, you will need to go to this to download this file. I'm redoing this because some people have had some problems with it, so I'm going to try and sort that out. And you get this, is what you download. You extract files, so I extract here, and you get these two. These are what you want. You will copy these over to this location. It should be about the same for you, so just like go to this, go to this, find Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll want Dark Souls 2, and then Game. So that's how you get to there. You'll copy those over, and they should appear at the bottom here next you want to run as administrator we got this create file yes and this should pop up and you say next and then click finish save you can close that okay now that should work. For some people it hasn't, and I'm going to do another thing in a second. Hang on. Now in some cases people have had a problem where this happens. And if that happens to you, then something's gone wrong. You... Let's delete all that. In that case you may need to download this. Which is Motion and Joy. I will also put a link to that in the description. So you can hear that, detect my controller, vibration, etc. So enable that. And now if we do this, copy them over. We all know how to do this now, so I might skip this, I'm not sure. Then run as administrator. And we get the pop-up saying create file. And then we get this. And then we're good to go. And I'll just, so that is how you solve that problem. And hopefully that is helpful to you.